On today's episode, we're eating at a bunch of bakeries here in the area of Kamuki. Is this your excuse of sneaking in more bites? Oh my goodness. Mmm. This is light and crispy, fluffy on the inside. Mmm, love. What could be better than chocolate flavor? Double chocolate, of course. For those of you with a sweet tooth, stay tuned. What's going on foodie ohana and welcome back to the channel. Today we are cruising the area of Wailite known for a lot of awesome eateries and of course bakeries. And this area is called Kaimuki. It's a super foodie area, a lot of local businesses as well. So if you're looking for some really cute local spots, a lot of vibes, definitely hit up Kaimuki. You guys know for anything uh, baked goods? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> so, all these things are really good. So that, that is just depends on like uh, what's your taste? Or what flavors do you like? But I give them a 10 out of 10. So the first spot that we're at here is called Aloha Bakehouse and Cafe. They are known for one thing called the Aloha Bread. If you've ever been to the swap meet, they used to be there a while ago, I believe. Now they have two different locations, one here in Kamuki and I think one in Kaka'ako or Ward area. We didn't get the famous Aloha Bread because we have eaten it a lot of times, so we decided to go with something a little different. If you guys have been here and you recommend anything, please let us know and let the other Foodie Ohana members know in the comments down below. But we're waiting for our food to be made. Should we start with our little appetizer, their scone? Oh yeah. And you said this is one of their more popular items. This is the absolute last one. First thing we're going to be eating today. I'm super excited. This is one of their popular flavors. It's apple cinnamon. And they said that their scone is very delicious. So I'm trying it out. The inside is filled with chunks of apple. There's a nice glaze on the top. It has a nice like sticky feel. And it's fall. But I think this video is coming out more towards the winter season. But oh, yeah, this is the vibes right now. Cheers. Mmm, mm. hint of sweetness. It's not super duper sweet. The apple, the cinnamon, it just all goes together. It's like a warm plug. I need to get an apple chunk. Hold on. Mmm, I love the flavor of the apple. It has a nice like jammy texture. It definitely melts into the scone. I do want to try their other scones, possibly on another day, because we're going to be eating a lot of baked goods today, so. We want to pace ourselves. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Japan. We went to Aomori. Remember how everything was apple? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We definitely, definitely need our first sip of the day. So here they call it the Aloha Ice Coffee. It's basically a 24-hour steeped cold brew, sweetened with only condensed milk. Very similar to Vietnamese iced coffee. Ooh, I think our breakfast sandwich is ready too. You can really taste the strength of the cold brew, the dark roast. The amount of condensed milk in here is a little, little too sweet to my liking, but I really appreciate the coffee flavor, very strong. They also had a Kyoto style iced coffee. I'm gonna try that next time. Wonder how that one would taste, but this is definitely gonna wake you up, give you that morning jolt. I will say it's a little bit on the light side. Whoa! Being me, I always get the savory items. I got the breakfast croissant. You have a choice between croissant or bagel. Croissant stuffed with egg, bacon, and cheese. Toasted, cut in half right down the middle. Bacon, cheese, scrambled eggs. This is gonna be the first bite of the morning for me. Mmm. There's ham in here too. The croissant is very light, flaky, very crisp edge. I like that the inside is pillowy. Of course, the saltiness of the bacon, the ham, the egg adds a nice fluff, extra protein, which is always nice. And the cheese, of course, melting it all together. But for Johanna, rest assured, plenty more bakeries on this strip here on Wildlife for us to take you to, so stay tuned. Ooh, it's really sticky, yo. Yeah. And if you guys didn't know, I grew up in Kaimuki. So it's like being back home. And the next spot, you guys, is just up the street here. So let's go check it out. Oh my goodness, look at this kitty. Oh, so cute. For you cat lovers, there is a cat cafe here. Popoki, Popoki and, and tea. tea. Wow. Too bad we're allergic. Yes, we are. Right, we might have to make a pit stop, guys. We see some something interesting. Vegan donuts? Local fish? Mm. What is that? 
Urban exploring, hidden gems. Oh, line starts here. Oh. Oh, wow. What is this? And then every person during Monday, I think it's 7.45 to 11. Do you guys usually sell out or? Usually, yes, but lately it's been a little bit slow. So oh. we've been here till two. Let me go grab that for you. Thank you so Thank much. You, Ash, you too. Thank you. Oh, wow. So nice. She said that there was an extra one in here for us. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I guess they didn't know we were on a diet. <laughs> Today does not count. And the next spot, you guys, of course, we had to get donuts. This is a bakery episode here in Kaimuki. This spot is called Little Vessel Co. They're here every Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 2, or until sold out, or the first or third Monday, starting at 7.45 to 11, or sold out. And guys, these are vegan donuts. So if you guys are vegan or being a little bit health conscious, definitely check this place out. We ordered three. Singles are $4.00. The flight, which is six, I believe, is 23. Yeah, we ended up ordering three and then she gave us an extra one to try. Amazing. So I really wanted to try this one. It is the maple pecan or maple walnut. I forgot what it was. Anything maple has my name on it. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It is so nice and pillowy soft. And she did mention that they make these every day fresh. So the donuts are never old. The maple flavoring is so strong. I love anything maple. So this I can get behind. It's not super oily too, which I love. Sometimes donuts can be too oily. This is a lot more light, a lot more fluffy, a lot more pillowy. Mm, love. The second one that I really wanted to try was this one. It is a rosemary pumpkin. Oh my goodness. Anything pumpkin has my name on it. I might have to get two bites into this one to get to the center. And guys, these are not some small donuts. These are hefty. Wow. <laughs> They're like bigger than that croissant sandwich we had earlier. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa. Again, the donut is nice and fluffy. This one does have a hint of herbiness, the rosemary. Surprisingly, it's not super savory. I will say it's not as sweet as the maple glazed one, obviously, but I love that little rosemary flavor. I really want to get to the center. How do I do the, how do I get to the center? Do I got to take like three bites? Well, don't bite on the edge. You got to keep biting the middle. I might have to smash this in my face. Oh God, I can't. You can kind of see the pumpkin peeking through right there. Mm. Is this your excuse of sneaking in more bites? Oh my goodness. Mmm. I love that the rosemary glaze kind of pulled in the middle there. Then you can see the pumpkin. I got a little bit of it. It has a nice spice to it, pumpkin spice flavor. The cream or icing on this is very sweet. I will say, once you get towards the middle, it gets a lot sweeter. Oh man. Do I have sugar all over my face? Stop. Now let's see what Felix thinks about these ones. All right, it is finally my turn. I've been dying watching Amanda enjoy these treats. So I'm gonna try, it looks like the more guilty pleasure ones. Very fitting. This is the double chocolate cherry, I believe. And this one is the... Dolce de leche. Dolce de leche. This one looks the sweetest, so I'm gonna try this one last. Nothing better than a chocolate donut. Oh, this looks like Oreo crusted maybe. And Amanda was right. This is very light, very airy. Ooh, look at that chocolate glaze on top. Oh, man. <laughs> I know we constantly mention how we're on a diet and man, this hits phenomenally. You might want to clean your mouth a little bit. <laughs> I'll clean it later, I don't care. This is delicious. It's a nice mixture of dark chocolate and milk chocolate, dark chocolate crumble, dark chocolate fudge, very chewy, very soft. And the icing, that cherry icing, oh man, it literally is the icing on the donut. It gives you that nice, black forest type of flavor. The donuts are so light. If you told me this was vegan, I wouldn't believe you. This is amazing. Oh man, I can finish this whole thing. It's that light, guys. Now for the Dolce di Leche. Mm, and the center is kind of like oh, it's, caramel. It's oozing out. Yeah, it's kind of oozy. Oh. I don't know how that's going to go when you eat it, but. I'm going to manipulate so that the caramel ooze is where I want to take a bite. It's gonna ooze in your mouth. That way I don't have to be like Amanda and try to get to the center, because the center is coming to me. This one is hefty. This thing is pretty heavy, I'm kind of scared. They're all kind of heavy, it's just they're no, light. No, they're light, yeah. Ooh. Mm. Oh my 
my god. Oh my gosh, guys. This tastes like um, what is that caramel hard candy? Withers? Withers? Withers, yes. It has that flavor, but the nice crumble on top is like a pandesol kind of, not pandesol, but what is that? Oh man, I can't think. Oh man, the caramel's everywhere. If you're looking for a guilty pleasure, this is it right here. Just get one of these, call it a day. But guys, we do have more bakeries to check out. We're gonna be heading on up more. Since this is a baked goods episode here in Kamiki, we had to stop by one of our favorite bake shops, Pipeline Bakery. They're known for this cake bomb. And one more thing that Felix is gonna try, but we did feature them before. And a lot of people recommend certain items from here. So we'll be showing you in a second, but anyway, I'm gonna try it. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Did I mention that this was a pumpkin spice? cake bomb. The frosting is kind of like cream cheesy and the cake bomb, just look at it you guys. It is so nice and moist. Nice pumpkin spice flavoring, cinnamony, nutmeggy type of flavor as well. It's very moist. It's not dried out at all. Pumpkin spice. I love this time of year. I just love it. Mm. Mm. What is a cake bomb? Honestly, I don't know what a cake bomb is. All I know is that it's shaped like a bundt cake with icing on top and it's delicious definitely something you have to get. And a lot of you have mentioned that Pipeline Bakery has some of the best malasadas. Everything here is homemade, made in-house. And of course, it's made to order. So you know you're getting the freshest, the hottest malasada around. And of course, I'm gonna be trying this one because Amanda's a little biased. You know she loves her Leonard's. So here we go, Pipeline Bakery malasada. This is the original OG sugar. <laughs> okay, this is the real deal. This gives Leonard's a run for its money. So does that sugar mustache you got going on. It's nice and airy on the inside, not dense. The outside is crispy. Some of the other malasadas we've had, the outside skin part is a little chewy, not crispy. This is light and crispy, fluffy on the inside. i say if you're in the area, give these a try. And of course, no long line. Give Pipeline Bakery Malasadas a try if you're in the mood. But don't go anywhere, Foodie Ohana, because we got more places to show you guys. This episode isn't over yet. For those of you with a sweet tooth, stay tuned. We're launching in Foodland next week. And what we're launching is this product right here. It's called Chihu. And it's basically, we've taken banan and we've packaged it up into a bar and dipped it in dark chocolate. It's just a project we've been working on for a few for a few months now. We just got really fortunate that we're like being able to launch in Foodland across the island next week. So we wanted to invite you wonderful people down to sample it. We're gonna have three flavors at Foodland. We're gonna have Banana Bliss, which is basically just banana and dipped in dark chocolate, a classic. We're gonna have roasted coffee, and this one's dusted in espresso dust, so it's my personal favorite. And then the other flavor we're gonna have is double dark chocolate, or double chocolate, which will be in Foodland as well. Super, super excited. Everything has no added sugar, and it's dairy-free, made from bananas, just like the non made here on Oahu. These guys are here for the, this is Amanda and, sorry. Felix. Felix. Yes. What's your name? Amanda and Felix. Amanda and Felix. Yeah, Felix. Nice to meet you. Cool yeah. drink. Oh, I'll share with her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Long oh yeah, these guys, guys are the, should have uh, told me to interview these guys. They're the owners. <laughs> so, Fudio Hana, I know that today is a bakery episode, but we were actually invited down by Banan to try their new Chihu Pops. Do you guys know what Chihu means? You guys know this is their new popsicle that's gonna be in the food land. So if you guys wanna check them out or grab this, you don't have to go to the store, you can just go to your local food land. Dairy free, no sugar added, sweetened by dates. I love that it's dairy free, especially for us who are lactose. This is the coffee pop flavor. It's dusted with espresso dust, covered in chocolate. Oh, it's banana based as well, you guys. So it's actually pretty healthy for you. I do believe we've tried banana in the past. I'm not sure if we did it for a video or if we just went because we liked their ice cream. <laughs> but they used to be on Montserrat. Now they're in Waikiki and here in Kaimaki. Trying it out, cheers. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. 
you guys, if you like chocolate, you will love this. I love that the chocolate is not super, super sweet. It has a nice bittersweet flavor to it. There's a bit of a salty element to it as well, which totally offsets it. I love that it's made out of bananas. It's not super banana-y, but if you love bananas, you'll definitely, definitely love this. I love the contrast with the coffee. There are other flavors that we're gonna be, or Felix is gonna try a different flavor, but I feel like this is a very deep, rich chocolate flavor. So I kind of want to try the inside because I got mostly chocolate in that bite. It doesn't melt as quick because there's not cream in there, which I really appreciate. And just the banana and chocolate mixed together can be beat. Mm. Double chocolate. Oh, the Double chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. What could be better than chocolate flavor? Double chocolate, of course. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is deceiving me because I'm imagining like a fudge bar, but I know it's not gonna be just an ice cream flavor. This is indeed made with primarily bananas in their soft serve ice cream form. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. If you are a big fan of the flavor Chunky Monkey, this is right up your chunky alley. It's very banana-y very chocolatey. They mix the chocolate flavor into the banana proprietary ice cream itself and also dipped in a nice bittersweet chocolate chunk outer shell. Oh man, this is double fudgy, chunky monkey, banana-y goodness. So you had a little bit of the coffee one earlier. Is there I a difference? Better. Really? I feel like the chocolate is already bittersweet with the addition of the flavor of coffee as in the other one Amanda had, it made it a little more on the bitter side. This is a nice balance of bittersweet chocolate, creamy banana ice cream flavor. This is really delicious. So if you guys wanna try these bad boys out, check them out at the nearest but not near you, or you can grab one of these at your local food land. All right, Foodie Ohana, that's gonna do it for today's episode. We had an amazing time exploring all these bakeries. We sure hope you guys did as well. If you guys wanna check out any of the spots we went to today, please check the links down below. We have it linked in the description. We will be getting married, so there's not gonna be a video after this. So the next time you see us, we are gonna be newlyweds. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. Hit that subscribe button down below. Come and join our Foodie Ohana, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next Foodie Adventure, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye, guys. What could be better? What, what could be? So the next spot we're going to, of course, since this is a bakery episode, we had to get donuts. We went to. You said we're going to. What? I said we had to. No, you said the next spot we're going to. Oh. It, it, we went. You have a purple lips now. <laughs> Look at your tongue. It's literally black. <laughs> it's so good though. Who's <laughs> at the bottom? Say the We're crossing the street. Change of plans, guys. We're going across the street. Oh man, look how much caramel sauce there is. It's literally dripping everywhere. Oh. Do we have another spot Brain to go fart. to? Oh, ensamada. That's what it tastes like, the topping. I feel like. I feel like the... Is just down the street here. Up the street. I mean... I thought you grew up here. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh, your face. Oh. They mix the chocolate flavor into the ice cream itself. Is it ice cream? Yeah, banana ice cream. Oh, let me see your mouth. I like that. And then up here. What about me? You're good. Well, perfect timing. The button.